Okay. So let me share the slide again. Okay, so I was talking about the laboratory diagnosis of um, tumors. And this can only be done by taking a sample of the tumor and looking at it as under the microscope. So there are several ways by which you can take a sample. We can do a fine needle aspiration cytology. What this means is that you have a needle that you go through to the tissue and then you you sort of pull some of the tissue into the needle because you stop it pull some of the tissue into the needle and then look at it under the microscope then you can also have cytologic smears where they take a, a part of the tissue and then make a thin slice and look at it under the microscope we can also have immunocytochemistry where we take um we make house and depending on the results that we get it helps us to make a diagnosis then you can also have biochemical acid so you can do blood tests which will give you an idea whether the patient might have the cancer or not okay i think that's it yes okay so please if you have any questions I'm listening to your question. Yes. Oh, no question. I thought this was a very practical and interesting topic. Any questions? Madam, Madam yes. what someone has a cancer, what caused them to lose their hair? Pardon? You see, when some people have cancer, they, they lose their hair. What causes that? Okay, so the cancer is, is the treatment that causes the hair loss. So what happens is that you see that I was saying that the cancer is um, uncontrolled growth of cells. So the treatment is using medications that stop rapid cell growth. So in addition, to treating the cancer, it also stops the growth of cells which grow rapidly. So for example, the hair, the nails, okay, it stops the rapid turnover of the cells. And so it doesn't just affect, so that is how come when the patient is on chemotherapy, they lose their hair. So it's, not, the a hair. Cancer, it's not the cancer that causes them to lose their hair. It is the treatment, the chemotherapy, which is supposed to, which is designed to stop the growth of the cancer as a side effect. It also stops the growth of rapidly growing cells. And the hair is one of the fastest growing cells in the body. So its regeneration will be stopped. So does it mean all parts of the body that grows hairs or is only it's all part of the body that grew hair. But I missed I have a question. If I may ask, if I may ask, madam, yeah. I'm not done. So through the therapy, can they be cured or they will still have to die? So it depends. As for cancer care, it depends on how quickly how early, I should say, how early the diagnosis is made. Like we said, if the cancer has spread, then it makes it a bit difficult. Then the patient might die. But if it hasn't spread and it is contained within the tissue, then surgery can be done to remove it from the tissue. And then you do chemotherapy to remove any residue from the tissue. Then you are done. But if it has spread, even with chemotherapy, you may not be able to remove it. Survive. Okay. 
Yeah. Man, 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 I have a question. Uh, no, please hold on. No. Madam Esther's hand has been up for long. Madam Esther. Yeah, please ask Hello. your question. Madam Esther. Esther, we can't hear you. Not you and your, your mic. It's all right. <laughs> Not go ahead. Well, no, um, from the beginning of the slide, um, a part of it I saw cap that um, with related to their cancer cap. Now, um, in one of uh, my reading of articles, I realized I read in that cancer cells can develop blood vessels. Yes. Yes, and then my question is, um, and then in that article, he wrote that uh, most cancer cells feed on blood sugar. So yes. if in case you can uh, reduce your blood sugar uh, intake of carbs, that will spike insulin and other stuff, you can starve the uh, cancer cells from growing rapidly. How true is this fact? Yes, so that is true. So, um... The cancer cells are liable to so many things and they they depend on the host for nutrition so if you don't feed them they will die but usually this is defective at the early stage if it has grown and has started causing problems even if you stop eating sugar it won't do anything so early stages. So actually, ideally, the best thing is to just have a healthy lifestyle so that some of these things don't come in. And the best is usually to have diets which is rich in um, antioxidants because free radical damage can also lead to cancer. Like alugun to be. <laughs> Anything that has free radicals. Is okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. No, it's my like you've been beaten by the rain. I have a question. Yes, please. Ravi. Uh, please, under which circumstances um, would um, cancers not respond to chemotherapy? Um, I, I witnessed a situation where um, I think that the cancer was noticed quite early. It hasn't metastasized. Um, it was CEO of the ovaries. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. chemo was started quite early. Um, but it, it it seemed not to have worked much. Um, the whole the whole the whole process took like ten months. But at the end of the day, um, the lady lost her life. Mm -hmm. And during the final stages, she kept having abdominal pains, and then they opened up. Realized it had spread all over. But they couldn't it do anything. It had spread so badly they had to close her up again. Yeah. Even with all the chemo she did. And she passed on. So usually for ovarian cancer, I'm not a gynecologist, but usually for ovarian cancer, we can also do hormonal therapy. And sometimes mm -hmm. surgery is also recommended at the early stages. So I don't know what the particular scenario was, but every kind of cancer, that is why we do tests called immunocytochemistry. To know the particular types of cells they are and how sensitive they are. There are some types of cancers that um, chemo doesn't help. You have to do hormonal therapy. There are others too that you have to do radiotherapy or radiation therapy. Um, because we don't do immunocytochemistry in the country, and even when it's available, it has to be sent outside the country for the test to be done, and the results will come later, and it's quite expensive. We don't always get it right in terms of the treatment, because sometimes you use a method which is not very sensitive to the cell. It's just like you get a... Um, you get an infection, you don't do any culture, and you start treating with antibiotics without knowing which specific organism it is and which specific agent you need to use for the treatment. You may not um, achieve a cure. Okay, so in the same way, you don't do the immunocytochemistry to know exactly what you are dealing with and the sensitivity. 
you may be treating with chemo, but maybe you rather need hormonal therapy or you rather need um, radiation, radiotherapy. So maybe that's what happened. I don't know. Okay. Thank you. Doctor, please, about the Kaposi sarcoma. Yes. Even though you said the H. pylori is a bacteria, I nursed the patient like that. But when he was, he, he was he, it was at the back. And it has... Hold on. Kaposi Kaposi sarcoma sarcoma is not from H. pylori. It is human herpes virus AIDS and then HIV. Okay, I want to find out when it started and when it is starting, the patient doesn't, he won't he see any sign or it just comes at once. When you see of what? Hello, Doug. Won't he see any sign of what? For instance, can uh, uh, is that is it going to be like a pimple or something, or it just came by itself? That's what I want to know. Okay, so you see it on the skin. It's a kind of skin cancer, and it usually occurs in advanced stages of patients who have immunosuppression. So before they get the skin um, uh, manifestation, they would have been showing other things like weight loss, like uh, maybe TB like other opportunistic infections, diarrhea, and so on. So this Kaposi sarcoma usually occurs at the latter stages. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you, Doc. All right. Yes. Any other? There's a chat. Need ask, ask some. Can we for your We have never asked any questions for coordinator. Chief coordinator. Madam. Yes. Madam, there is a comment in the chat here. Yeah, but I don't understand it. Said some chemotherapy. The drugs don't activate the receptors on the cancer cells to shut DNA replication. I don't really understand what. Is this a comment or a question? This one, I think he Google it. <laughs> Go from Google. Ah, okay. <laughs> well, the person can clarify. M two S. Who is that? My question. Um, sometimes um, people have cancer cancers. They do surgery. They remove them, but they reoccur again. Yeah. Per, your, um, per your first answer to my question, you did mention that we should live a healthy life. That is the key. Uh, Madam, um, the underlying factor of healthy life, uh, how would you define it? Because one, what, and the second, the first question is, why do this thing happen? Because if I have a cancer at the early stage and it's being removed, why do they come again? It means that the, the cause of the problem has not been solved. That's how I see it. But is okay. there any other cause to why those things to reappear? And then okay. secondly, what is the bottom line or the baseline for you when it comes to healthy life? Okay, so um, it's possible that we have something we call the margins, the cancer margins. So if you have breast cancer, for example, they take out the lump we need to do a pathological examination on it to look at the margins and see whether you cut everything off or there's some left so we have something we call clear margins you should have excised at least one centimeter around the tumor to be sure that you've gotten everything because if you remember what I said about the malignant neoplasm, Akosia, take your toy away. Take, take it over there. If you remember what I was saying about malignant neoplasm, they spread into the tissue like the claws of a crab. And so sometimes when you take out the lump, 
there might still be some small, small deposits in the tissue, which you didn't remove. So some people advocate that, for example, if you have a family history of breast cancer, then the best thing is to actually take out the whole breast. Then you are safe. Because sometimes if you take out the, the, the cancer and you don't take everything out and there's some left, it will go back. So that is the cause of the recurrence. Now, healthy living. So basically, it depends on the diet. Eating a lot of processed and manufactured foods is one of the number one causes because um, these days our food is genetically yeah. modified. Yeah. And then in terms of preservatives, they can also cause damage to our healthy cells. So for me, as much as possible, eat less processed foods and more naturally made foods. So for example, if you are eating more greens, more vegetables which are fresh, that is a better um, diet than taking something like sardines. The fish is natural, fair enough. But for the fish to stay on the shelf for so long, it means that chemicals will have to be added to it to preserve its shelf life. And so the more processed foods that you take, the more likely that all these will build up in your body and cause problems. Then in terms of the protein too, because of um, commercialization, uh, poultry especially is injected with a lot of antibiotics and um, hormones the, to hasten growth. And so to um, take the locally manufactured, <laughs> the locally, uh, the local poultry, which is yeah. under controlled conditions. Okay. Then a lot of pesticides also these days, a lot of pesticides go into our uh, vegetables. So if you can grow your own food, that's also a good, a good idea. I mean, so all these things, basically the bottom line is eat organic food. And elsewhere, okay. like in the US, they have the organic food. And once they say it's organic, you are sure that it's really organic. And it's even more organic, expensive yeah. than the other vegetables. Than the non -organic. Yes, yes. Because they didn't grow them with any chemicals. There are no fertilizers, nothing. It's purely organic. But in our yeah, setting, you get them in the farmer's market. Yes. But in our setting, you can't be sure. So the best thing for you to do is to take as much natural foods as possible. And then okay. leave the processed foods or limit the processed foods. Okay. Then, so um, that's right. Then you okay. have Exercise. Mm -hmm. You have rest, and mm -hmm. then you have um trying to be stress free as much as possible. Okay. So, yeah. So, doesn't stress, stress too can cause cancer. So stress can lead to high um levels of cortisol. Stress can also cause um peptic ulcers, and if the ulcer persists it can uh, become cancerous. Okay, madam, I don't know if this question, my question has already been answered based on what not ask or what. Okay. Concerning the thyroid, mm -hmm. one, what type, which type or which, uh, uh, where does it fall? Is it a familiar or like, I don't know the kind of type of fibroid, <laughs> fibroid cancer. Yes. And and sometimes I I learned unless the womb has been taken has been raptured, that's the only way the the, the, the fibroid wouldn't appear again or something. I don't know. Yes. So fibroids are familial. They're actually common in blacks, and you, you it runs in families as well. But a fibroid is actually not. Uh, cancer. It is 
a benign neoplasm. It's the malignant neoplasm that is called cancer. It's a benign oh. neoplasm. Um, so fibroids, yes, they grow from the uterus. And so um, if you take them out, you should... I mean, there are some small, small ones which are still there. If, and it's, it's, it's almost impossible to take every single one out. Sometimes when you do the scan, you see several of them. So when they do the surgery, they'll take out the big ones. <laughs> if you leave the womb alone, they will grow again because they are under the, the influence of estrogen and progesterone. Those hormones cause them to grow. So once the woman is still producing estrogen and progesterone, the fibroids will continue to come. So the only solution is to take out the womb and then she'll be free of them. Mm. So usually, <laughs> gynecologists, gynecologists will usually advise you that if you have fibroids and you don't have children, you should quickly have kids as soon as possible because they will grow again and they will worry you again. And then you go for surgery to take them out and the more you operate on the womb, the more likely that it cannot support a pregnancy very well. Or you will not be able to have normal vaginal delivery. So you have to have cesarean session. Uh -huh. I know a woman who is suffering from this side. Mm -hmm. And she has been having a, a, a consistent a miscarriages. Yes. So she, she, she went to Kolebu uh, and they said that she is suffering from a fiber. So she told me she wants to evacuate her womb and all that. Mm -hmm. and the doctors too are telling her she can give birth. But looking at her age, she's also finding it difficult to conceive. How old is she? 40. She, she's, she's late 40, like 42 plus. Mm -hmm. And someone said she can freeze her eggs for future fertilization. <laughs> she can do it. She can freeze the eggs for future fertilization. So, so in, I'm not, I'm not. in this case, in this case, you can um, do, you can freeze the eggs. It's available in Ghana now. And then you get a surrogate. You get another woman. And then have a partner they can do artificial insemination and then they'll carry that pregnancy for you um because the you can have multiple miscarriages with the fibroids because depending on where the fibroid is if the fibroid is in the body of the womb then when the baby starts implantation it crowds the womb and so the baby may not be able to see and then it will come out. Sometimes too, the fibroids can block the tube or they can grow near the, the fallopian tube such that it's difficult for you to, um, for the sperm to pass through to fertilize. And so that can cause uh, infertility. So, it's, it, that option is available to freeze the eggs and then to have a surrogate to carry the pregnancy. Madam, Madam. Yes. Madam my, my, my has, I don't know if it has something to do with Can egg two affect a, a, a child death? Because one, one PA. Of course. Can age happen? Oh, Madam, yeah, let me proceed. Is that okay. uh, if someone is older, like 40 plus, and you are able to get pregnant, it's likely you have a Down syndrome, like a child with a Down, down syndrome yes. or something? Yes, that is true. What causes that? Why? <laughs> because if you are able to get pregnant, you might... <laughs> your, question what causes, your question is what causes the Down syndrome? Yes. Is that your question? Okay, so, so usually we are all born with. Oh, mommy shouldn't cry. 
Usually we are all born with our set of eggs from birth. And every month one will mature and lead to fertilization. So the older you are, the older your eggs are. And when the eggs are old, there's likely to be mistakes during um, the meiotic division, which leads to the maturation of the egg. And that mistake that can occur would lead to Down syndrome, which is trisomy 21. So for the patient with Down syndrome, instead of two copies of chromosome 21, they have three copies. So having three copies of chromosome 21 is as a result of a mistake that occurred during the cell division. And that mistake occurs, is more likely to occur that mistake is more likely to occur when you um, the eggs are old. But, but, but young people too give birth to hey, this boy, yeah. madam is not a gynecologist. So the likelihood, the likelihood is more in the young because they are more fertile and they are more likely to have um, children. But it has been realized that the older the eggs are, the more likely that those genetic mistakes will be okay. So you can still have it when you are young. The, the problem actually is that the, there's a mistake during cell division. It can occur in the old, it can occur in the young, but research has shown that it's more likely to occur in the older people. I hope your question is answered. Yes, yes madam, thank you. Any other questions? Yes, madam. Yes. Um, please, my question takes us to breast, uh, back to breast cancers. Okay. Um, I realize, uh, more often than not, um, I stand to be corrected anyway, um, that after a mastectomy, um, most of the time, after a while, you realize the other breast also gets affected. Is there any reason why it is so? What actually happens? So it's possible that maybe that breast already had the spread, but it wasn't noticed. Maybe the, the, the tumor there was much smaller. So with time, it manifests itself. It highly spread, but you may not pick it up if the lumps are very small. Oh, Are you okay? Thank you. So that yes, is why ma that is why the surgery is not enough. You have to follow it with chemotherapy. Okay. All right. Thank you. All right. Any other questions, Madam? Yes. Um, one question. Uh, my question is: um, with this cancers and um, um, tumor stuff, right? Um, we you, you did discuss about you i give uh, you give an explanation with healthy diet stuff mm -hmm. from your view point of view but, um, my question is um there's this kind of diet that has been circulating lately what's your intake of that a ketogenic diet i have no idea i know it is used for weight loss but i really don't know about its effects on cancer Okay. Mm. Okay. Thanks. It works, eh? Yes, it does. Okay. I don't know about Santa. Okay, we have ten minutes. <laughs> we yeah, have there's, there's no questions. Any questions? Any questions? No, oh, madam. Okay, so I'd like to say thank you to Nat. For the wonderful lunch this afternoon. Yes, thank you. <laughs> I'm very, very grateful. Thank you very much. It's no limit, madam. It's the whole class. It's the whole class. Oh, okay. Hey, one class, one, one part. Thank you for the data as well. That's too good. So, oh, madam, you, you look at the exams for us. So. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> that is sarcastic. We withdraw that statement. Madam, please, we did not do that because of the exams or anything. We did that because we wanted to do it. Please That's don't all. mind this boy. That's all. Please don't mind him. <laughs> no, I'm just laughing. Don't worry. Mm -hmm. I said I'll talk to the HOD on Monday. <laughs> <laughs> when I talk to the HOD, then we'll decide on what to do about the exams. Okay. All right. Yes, sir. All right. Thank you, madam. Okay. okay. Thank you very much. Have well. a good day. End of class. Good okay, Have a wonderful evening. Bye. Okay. Bye bye. Don't get some. Bye, <laughs> You're welcome. Okay. Bye. 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 Nick. Nick. Yeah. Oh. Uh, shall it now or then? Now we don't go. Madam, please. Uh, there's a. There's a. What was the name? Hey, I'm not going to be one. Uh, I'm Madam is gone. Bro, I'm not going to be one. Why? 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 The reason why the reason why tech and then how many one student from tech no more so yeah this online something they were that we were talking about exam stuff into this time we say are we doing assignment and all that because he said he's a student from tech and i'm sure we are we are affiliated but the directive from there is like you should do more assignment and this strong essay you understand and according to her the main reason being is that um um because of this uh, 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 network problems and once uh, this thing is not familiar in ghana this online stuff is it and because of uh, uh, network stuff that's why they have introduced this and here's the case microbiology what you are saying and at the end of the day it's not all the students that are able to join at the end of the day. And this thing is not just because of the class. So, a problem, for instance, Cola. This boy has been struggling with network problems since we start this class. And here's the case, uh, Mami will change China, change on the person conducting this exams and, uh, and all stuff. I think I'm not that type. I'm not that type. I always fight for myself. Just me for this, I've not had any play. Uh, 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 what you have to say? Yes. Yes. So what is my question is what is the suggestion that now? What, what what is the point? The point is tech you say not all the students it's not all the students that will be able to do it to get access to the internet. Mm -hmm. That is why they did not what opt for the examination, but rather assignment. Uh -huh. And here's the case the woman wants to do a, a, an exams and then there's no one you to go against you for the assignment everyone will be able to do it to do and submit the thing is that radford themselves are confused how to organize the exams for us i read it there's no there's nothing like examination okay assignment and long essay like long essay that stuff about five assignments and then long essay. Yeah. What you are saying? That is what. Castle Bay exams. Okay. I'm listening to Castle Bay exams. Sure. I'm not playing with you. What's up? What's up? End end of semester exams, no. Okay. Yes. What I say? So we have to look at it because any of be and to me join the class, no. And the end is also is going to affect. Most of our colleagues. Okay, understood. Yes, yeah. 